Blonder Tongue is happy to help with the alphabet soup that exists in the cable television market. We talked about MPEG in two previous soups, first an encoding and then MPEG transport stream. You can refer to these for more background if necessary. Now we'll cover how the transport stream is carried over an IP network. The acronyms in IPTV obviously revolve around IP network vernacular. You can also see IP basics for RF professionals for more information. These are the ones that we'll be covering here. How is an MPEG transport stream carried over an IP network? The two methods are User Data Protocol, or UDP, and Real-Time Transport Protocol, or RTP. But where do UDP and RTP fit into the OSI model we talked about when we defined the MPEG transport stream? Here is an expanded model to give you a visual on how all this fits together. As a reminder, the OSI model is a standard reference for communication between two end users in a network. The OSI model defines a networking framework for implementing protocols according to layers. Each layer is functionally independent of the others, but provides services to the layer above it and receives services from the layer below it. This diagram shows you the correlation of TCPIP and the OSI model. We'll come back to this diagram again, but first, what is TCPIP? The primary network that most people are familiar with is the Internet. The Internet Protocol Suite is the networking model and group of communications protocols used for the Internet and similar networks. The term TCPIP has become synonymous with IP networks because the two most important protocols, TCP, which is Transmission Control Protocol, and IP, which is Internet Protocol, were the first networking protocols defined in this standard. TCP corresponds to the transport layer of the OSI model, whereas IP corresponds to the network layer. Now that we've seen the TCP IP model, we can see how UDP and RTP fit into an IP network. UDP is similar to TCP, but without the guarantee of delivery. Both are applied at the transport layer. With UDP, computer applications can send messages to other hosts on an IP network without prior communications to set up special transmission channels or data pass. It has no handshaking dialogues. By not requiring acknowledgments of packet receipt, retransmission of data, and packet ordering, UDP has a lower overhead and can be faster, but data can definitely be lost. It exposes unreliability of the underlying network protocol to the user's program. Since this is normally over an unreliable IP media, there are no guarantees. UDP is suitable for purposes where error checking and correction is either not necessary or is performed in the application, avoiding the overhead of such processing at the network interface level. UDP is more for multicasting data such as streaming video. If packets are out of order or lost, then those packets are skipped. Because of the lost packets, streaming video may seem jumpy. We cover multicast, unicast, multiple and single program transport streams in a subsequent alphabet soup. RTP, Real-Time Transport Protocol, defines standard packet format for delivering real-time audio and video, either unicast or multicast. The word real-time is a little misleading. RTP provides suitable functionality for carrying real-time content, so it provides timestamp and control mechanisms for synchronizing different streams with timing. RTP itself does not ensure timely delivery or provide other quality of service guarantees. It relies on the lower layer services such as UDP. RTP runs on top of UDP and belongs to the application layer. It combines its data transport with a control protocol, RTCP. While RTP carries the media streams, that is audio and video, RTCP, or the RTP control protocol, is used to monitor transmission statistics and quality of service, or QoS. It aids synchronization of multiple streams and makes it possible to monitor data delivery for large multicast networks. The primary function of RTCP is to provide feedback on the QoS in media distribution by periodically sending statistics information to participants in a streaming multimedia session. 
An application may use this information to control quality of service parameters, perhaps by limiting flow or using different codec. Typically, RTP will be sent on an even number UDP port, with RTCP messages being sent over the next higher odd number port. We hope this helped you with the alphabet soup that exists in our industry. Please see the support tab of the Blondertongue website for more videos. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel as we add new releases periodically. A lookup summary of the various acronyms included here can be found in the Blondertongue reference guide. It's available on our website and it's full of all kinds of technical reference material, not just acronyms. You can request a hard copy of the guide on the Publication and Request a Catalog page under the Support tab.